I am still leaking, however. Good morning, everyone. It's probably gonna be a boring hospital room update, but update nonetheless. So I've been here for almost five days, and yesterday we graduated from 24-hour monitoring to um, two to three times daily NSTs. So I, I'm able to get up and move around and uh, be a little bit more independent and not chained to the bed <laughs> as much. I was on strict bed rest for the first three days just because they didn't want, you know, anything to happen. And uh, now that things seem to be going okay, I can get up and move around. They actually want me to move around because sometimes people end up needing uh, physical therapy because their muscles sort of atrophy when they're on bed rest for long periods of time. So I'm up more often than I'm in the bed which is good speaking of the bed Cameron brought me my blanket and my pregnancy pillow this is actually the blanket that my sister-in-law and her friend got me when uh, we delivered Kaya and I just felt like I wanted that here Kaya is also here uh, watching over her baby brother so it was just really important for me to have her here just because I feel like you know I, I see her every day so it, it was hard to not see her face you know I just wanted to see her, so. Cameron did get me the best thing ever. <laughs> let me show you. This is my uh, little coffee corner. And let me tell you, it was necessary because the coffee here is not good. Eventually, I am gonna be getting my sewing machines in here and then I have like a little rolly table and I was talking to the nurses about it and they just think it's a wonderful idea. They're like, we've never seen anyone bring their sewing machines yet, but you know, whatever makes your stay more comfortable, whatever makes, you know, you happy bring it in as long as it's you know not completely obstructing all the medical equipment but yeah there's there's plenty of space on this ledge for my machines and then i'll have my little uh table that can fold and then i can pull it out and just work right here i am starting to realize as much as it i was scared the first couple of days and as much as like by the third day i was like oh my gosh i'm so over this i don't want to be here for two months you know I'm realizing as long as I can bring my things in here and, and you know entertain myself in some way and work in some way I'm gonna be okay and it's really honestly the best place for us because he is getting so much attention and um, uh, I'm getting say my temperature my blood pressure my pulse taken every four hours just to watch for infection so that's very very I just, I feel very comfortable with that care. I do know they're changing this out for a permanent one today, because you have to change these every, like, week. And then I guess they're going to have, like, a um, ultrasound guided um, saline lock. And that one can last, like, 28 days. And I kind of felt like, well, I haven't been on the IV for a couple of days. Like, why don't we just take it out? But we have to have it in just in case of emergency, like, if something happens or I get an infection or you know preeclampsia and I have to deliver immediately they want like immediate access to my veins so I agreed that's you know the, probably for the best even though it's not the most comfortable thing to have hooked up all the time I'm trying to think of what else to update um little man is passing his NSTs with flying colors he's for a while there, he was being very ornery and kicking away all the monitors. He's become a bit notorious the first three days about, like, they'd leave the room and then he'd, like, get away from the monitor. And as soon as they came back, he'd be back on and be like, hey, hey. But it was just, like, we had to figure out all these angles to try to get him because he just, he's doing somersaults in there. And I know I, I wasn't feeling that so much with my anterior placenta, but I saw him on the uh, ultrasound and then when they did a biophysical profile, he just was flipping, like, breach, transverse, head down, like, he's wild in there. <laughs> so, 
he's he's doing real good. They think he's he has uh, the best chances, and that I'm just gonna stay pregnant and um, deliver a full term baby. So I am still leaking. However, it's not like the gushes that I had at home, and I'm sorry if this is TMI, um, but it's like. There's been a couple of times when I choked on my spit in bed and then had like a coughing fit and then I would, you know, experience amniotic fluid leaking then or like um, when I have to go to the bathroom. Um, just because, you know, the straining and everything. So they put me on co so I, I'm not doing that. And uh, that seems to be helping. There's not quite as much... Um, fluid that's being lost. Um, they did say to expect it to just continually to happen because he is just going to keep peeing in there every day. And that's what amniotic fluid is. It's fetus pee. So <laughs> they're like, you should just expect it to keep happening. And, you know, don't worry too much if it happens, as long as it's not like a big, you know, you lose all your water, you're going to be fine. So yeah, I'm just, I'm very grateful to be here and um, I feel safe, so. And I, I trust them. That I guess somebody next door has been here for over a month and she's due to give birth um, in the next few weeks. So I think, you know, if, if they can keep her going, then they're going to keep us going. Uh, some of y'all were asking about <laughs> how the cats are taking it and Apparently Damien looks depressed and it makes me sad because I know I was his person. I was his, like, the one that he loved to harass and, and bug all day long and now I'm not there. And um, Cameron sent me some photos where he's just kind of laying on the couch like, mm, you know, so I feel bad. And I hate, I hate when I have to leave my kitties. Um, I did see this funny, like, cat camera on Amazon where you can uh, you can talk to your cats and they'll walk up to the camera and then it will like shoot out a cat treat. Just playing with the idea of getting that, I don't know, we'll see. I do know that it's like kind of torturing me to not see my cats every day because I just, I, I've always grown up with cats. There's photos of me as a six month old like laying on a cat. And so it's been, yeah. As much as Damien annoys the crap out of me sometimes, I'm just like, wow, I really miss being annoyed by him <laughs> right now. Um, other than that, Cameron spent the night here last night because he's working at the corporate office in West Hollywood today. And um, we're working on getting rid of our apartment that's in Hollywood because the whole point of us keeping it was that I was going to be here every 48 hours for NSTs and, and whatnot with my MFM. And now that I'm hospitalized, we're not going to be using the apartment. So now we're just working on uh, putting in a 30-day notice and uh, cutting off all the uh, utilities and everything for that. So we'll save a bit of money. But I think that's pretty much all I have to update for now. I know that they ordered for the, the um, these people to come in at 10 o'clock. So it is almost 10. Um, Hopefully, I'll have more interesting things to talk about soon. Um, but thank you for watching and supporting us. And, and you know, just all your words of encouragement. I've, I've seen so many stories, so many success stories of um, uh, premature ruptured membranes and, and you know, um, preterm babies and everything. And it just, it gives me a lot of hope and calms me down so much. And... Um, yeah, just thank you. All right, I will talk to you next time. Bye. Did you get breakfast?